Tiny Talk here, back with another match preview. It's for the Wrexham game on Sunday. Um, I'm obviously without Tom today. He's away for a few days, but he'll be back for the Chorley preview. So we'll look forward to seeing him then. Um, so yeah, uh, Sunday, it's 3 p.m. kickoff. It, it was scheduled for Saturday, but it was changed because Forest are playing Birmingham at home, so it clashes with their home fixture. And obviously, you know that County and um, Forest can't have games on the same day because of congestion in the city. So yeah. Um, for the travelling fans, it's about 90 miles, two hour journey by car, or two, two and a half, in good traffic maybe. Um, so yeah, not too bad, not great either. It's obviously in Wales, which sounds further than it is really. But yeah, they're, they're bringing a big following. They've sold 700 tickets so far, which is what we allocated them. Whether we'll allocate them more, I'm not too sure at this moment, but it'll be interesting to see because they're obviously, they're a big fan base that, they're going to be getting behind the team. They're probably fans that are looking for promotion this season. So, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a tough game for Knotts. As uh, as Wrexham finished fourth last season, they were knocked out to the in the playoffs to Eastley. Uh, in terms of Knotts, it's not much to go off because obviously when we played Eastley, we were at our weakest. First game of the season, the players hadn't had long to play with each other. The new the new signings that had come in. So, uh, in terms of Knotts, it doesn't really say much, but. Yeah, league standings, uh, Wrexham are ninth in the league with uh, 7 points and we are 15th with 4 points. So, like I say, early days, so it doesn't really say much, but they did uh, they did get a good win in the week against uh, Halifax, I believe. They were down to 10 men, it was 0-0, and they, they snuck a, a goal and, and won the game 1-0, which is it, it, a good win. For the fans, it, it shows a lot of character and I think we're going we're gonna to struggle against that characteristic, I think. But maybe I think I think given the right formation, the right tactics, and if the squad are pulling together, I think we'll I think we'll get over the line. But yeah, players to look out for for Wrexham. There's Sean Pearson now. For me, having a solid centre half that sets the standard for the rest of the the defence is very important. Now this is this is a player that's played 42 games last season, so it's obviously a lot of games, nearly all the games. Only missed a few games there. Um, he got six goals and twelve yellow cards. Now, if that doesn't tell you that at, at this level, that's the sort of centre back you want, in my opinion. He's he's obviously ready to get up from set pieces to score goals, and he's obviously not scared to fly into a tackle. Also, with with all those yellow cards, it's like what one in every three games is getting a yellow card. So he's obviously a player that's not scared to get stuck in. Um, another one is Bobby Grant. Now. He's actually suspended for our game, so he's obviously not going to be too much of a, a problem in this fixture, but maybe in the reverse fixture, as he has two goals in four games, which from midfield, it's not too bad at all. And uh, yeah, going on to their strikers, there's Mark Harris. He has three from four. Um, he's on loan from Cardiff, so he's going to be looking to prove a point, I think. He's going to be wanting to go up into the higher leagues and maybe progress on in his career. But I think this is a great starting point for him and it's obviously going well for him so far. But uh, yeah, moving on to team news for Knotts. We've got <coughs> we've got Patchin. He's left on mutual uh, mutual agreement, I believe. But later on, found out today that he left due to his personal circumstances, which I believe is like his, his living, the way he was living in Nottingham. I don't think it was working. But um, O'Brien... He went off injured against Barnet, and he didn't play at Harrogate on Tuesday. Now, there's been no news um, of O'Brien so far. I'm hoping he can play because, for me, he's a very important player. He gets stuck in. He's the player we want in this league, and there's another player that doesn't scare out of challenges. Um, ben Turner, he played, he played 90 minutes against Harrogate on Tuesday. And oddly said that he, he came into the change room at the end of the game walking like Robocop. So <laughs> at his age, it, it sort of shows us that it's even though he's not played that many games, he didn't have much of a preseason, he's not been fit. So maybe the, the extra day rest from because we're playing on Sunday might pay in his favour. But I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he's not in the starting eleven. Um yeah, and the the last bit of team news is uh Booty, Regan Booty. Um he, for me, is, from what I've heard from the Harrogate game, is what we were lacking. That space between the, the defensive midfielders and the attackers, he, he's filled that gap. 
He's, he's got an assist from a set piece, which is it's something we lacked massively last season, especially corners. Um, so I think um, he'll he'll start again. And the reason the reason that he actually started the last game was because he, he had a good preseason. He played 500 minutes, and it was uh, I think it was Halifax and Bradford that he was. Uh, I don't know if he was on trial. So he's had a decent preseason. He's obviously match fit. But uh, yeah, onto the the squad that I'd like to see picked. I'd like to see similar four four two, but maybe a four one two one two. Obviously, Slocum in goal um, for obvious reasons. He's he's been solid since he started. Got the clean sheet on Tuesday against Harrogate. Uh, left back, you've got Bakayogo. He's cleared one off the line also on Tuesday. Um, yeah, I think he's just he's what what we've missed really at left back. Uh, Centre back, I'm going to go Rawlinson and uh, Graham. Now the reason I'm not picking Turner is because I think. He might miss this one due to being robo-copped from uh, Tuesday's game against Harrogate. Um, people were saying that he made a few mistakes against Barnet, which he, I agree. In the last 10-15 minutes, he did look a little bit ropey. But I think if he cuts those mistakes out and he can last the full 90 minutes, he's he's going to be a player that will go back to Sheffield and he's going to have a good career, I think. So I think we need to use him as much. I wouldn't also mind seeing Bird at centre-back in... Um, in place of uh, Graham, if Graham doesn't start, but yeah, on to right back. Uh, obviously, Kelly Evans. He's had a pretty pretty good start for Knotts. He's uh, he's attacking. He's good at defending. He doesn't shy out of a challenge, and he's probably one of the smallest players in the squad at the moment. Which for me, it's it's what you need need at right back. Um, so defensive midfielder. Um, obviously, if if he wasn't injured, which I believe he might be for this game because he was left out of Harrogate, I'd choose O'Brien, uh, but. Um, Obviously, because I don't think he's going to be fit, I'm going to go for Mitch Rose. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a good player. We all, we all like Mitch Rose. He's, he's the captain, obviously. But uh, yeah, on to right mid. I'm going to go Osborne. He played for he played the full 90 minutes against Harrogate, and he had a promising game. Um, he's young. He's hungry. I think he's probably he's probably going to be one of the players that we're relying on when the players are getting tired. Obviously, he's got the young legs. Uh, like I said, he's gonna want to make the difference in games. Um, yeah, left mid Enzio. Obviously, he's got two two goals so far. One screamer against Barnet on TV, and the header against uh, Harrogate there on Tuesday. Uh, attacker midfielder. Obviously, the the one behind the the strikers. I'm gonna go for Regan Booty. Uh, he's played very well on Tuesday against Harrogate. I'm led to believe. Um, he's got the assist as well, which. It's funny because he played for Oldershot last season and in 32 appearances he got one assist. And in one game for, for Knotts, he's got the one assist. So maybe we're playing to his strengths and maybe it's, it's shown in the game. Uh, up top, Tyson and Dennis. Now there's just something about Dennis. His, his persona, he, he just looks like he wants to do well for Knotts this season. He had a, a, a post-match interview after Harrogate and he says he, how many, the interviewer said, how many goals are you going to score? He just said lot, he wants to get lots of goals and... It's nice to hear. Um, Tyson is, an, is another striker you, you want to see doing well. Uh, he, he's got a good attitude and I think he's got a point to prove after his last spell at Knotts, which he said. Um, the reason I've left out West Thomas is I think, uh, I might be wrong, but I think he's been bought in to, to back up up top. Uh, if Obviously Tyson's 37, so he might be getting tired when the, uh, the schedule's quite tough. Um, so... I can see that being the reason that he's been bought in, so that's the reason I'm not starting Thomas, and I've not got much to go off with uh, Wes Thomas because he's not got a great track record. When you look at his, his teams that he's played for in the past, let's say, 10 years, it's, it's probably 11, 12 teams in the past 10 years, and I think that says a lot about a player. If they're not staying at a club for longer than a season, I mean, it might say a bit about his attitude. I'm not too sure. I don't want to go into it too much, but... Yeah, the result of the game, Tom has given me his prediction. He's gone 2-1 and he's got Dennis and Enzio to get one. And I'd have to agree with him on the scoreline. I think it's going to be a 2-1. I think it's going to be a tough game. I think both teams will definitely score because there's a tough opponent. I'm obviously, we're at home, so we've got the, the slight advantage. But yeah, I can just see his nick in it. But I think Dennis will get a brace. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think uh, the formation will be and who you'd like to see playing where and what you think the outcome of the game will be. Thanks for watching, guys.